Welcome to Team Wild TV. Now we're here at the British Shooting Show, the UK's biggest and most awesome shooting show, specialist shooting show, held in February in Warwick. But, but seriously, it's been pretty awesome here, and thanks to all you guys that come along to say hello today. Now we've had a pretty busy week here on Team Wild TV, but we, before we get into that, I'd like to have a quick chat about last week's programme. Now, we had a really cool video, the rampaging armadillo that terrorised Texas. And thank you very much to all of your positive comments that you made for us, because we really enjoyed making it, and we know that you enjoyed watching it. There were a few naysayers, and to those guys, I'd just like to say, to keep things on balance, why don't you go Yeah, I think that kind of smoothed things over. But as we've been walking around the show, we've been seeing some of the things here, some really cool things that reminded us of what we did last week. Oh, my word like this enormous sword. Now, in Monday night's Realtree Global Hunting, we were out in Texas with Joshua and Crystal White, stabbing pigs with this monstrous sword and generally having a good time. Now, the vast majority of you guys really enjoyed it. You enjoyed the energy, the excitement, the thrill of the chase. However, there were a few of you that weren't very nice. And in the spirit of keeping calm and some solidarity in the shooting fraternity, I'd just like to say, yeah. So, while Mr. Half is gathering his composure, I've had a walk around the show today. Now, I stopped off A1 Pigeon Mania, where I saw some cracking pigeon decoys. That reminded me of Tuesday night's Team Miles Gear episode, where I was going through all the pigeon essentials that you'll need for a great day's pigeon shooting. Then I headed off to the food court, which reminded me of Team Wild's carnival series on Wednesday night, which was all about butchering moose meat. I then walked down past the Basque Wildfowl Department, which reminded me on Thursday's Affirminator series, which was wildfowl and geese. And then I had a walk past Blade Tech Knife Shot, which reminded me on Friday night's Team Wild Academy series, where Team Wild's very own knife expert, Steve Wildy Wild, showed us how to sharpen a knife. And then I went up to see the boys at night site, which reminded me on Saturday night's Team Wild Air Power episode where Ian Harford took out a seeker day with a night sight in Texas. Okay, as Keith said, we've seen loads and loads of really cool gear here today. And here's just a bit more of what we have seen. We've got another busy week here at Team Wild TV and here's a look at the shows that are going live next week. On Monday in Real Trees Global Hunting, Ian's after Heather Leader in Texas. On Tuesday night's Team Wild Gear, Keith Anderson reviews the Armsan A612. On Wednesday night, for a change, it's Wildy's World. It's usually called Carnivore, but this week it's Wildy's World. I'm out hunting a fallow buck for the table. On Thursday night, it's Apex Predator. Ian's hunting at a really elusive sable in Africa.
Friday night, it's Team Wild Academy. Back with Simon Barr doing part two of his reloading. Saturday night, it's a turn of air power where we've got Keith Anderson reviewing the Day State Huntsman. So that's it from this week's British Shooting Show. Hope you enjoyed last week's programming and you're going to enjoy next week's, that for sure. Subscribe to Team Wild TV for all the best bow hunting, hunting, air gun and gear shows on YouTube. And cut. Yeah, uh, right, Top line, boys. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Cheers, boy. Ding, dang, ding. Right, gentlemen, can you uh, drink up and leave now, please? Yeah. You're going to make us? Yeah, if I have to. Now coming into this week, on Monday night's Team Wild... Actually no, we need to go on that. Action. While Mr Harford's gathering his composure, I've had a walk around the show today. I stopped off A1 Pigeon Decoys, which reminded me of Tuesday night's episode, The Gear Essentials, which is just, no, it's not Gear Essentials. <laughs> Where do you want me to go for? we get all the thing again. Go, go on, go from the start. Which was uh, Team Wild's gear. We've got another busy week this week on Team Wild TV, and here's a look at the shows that are going live this week. And again? In Thursday night's Team Wild's Varminators, Steve and Keith were after... Were they after pigeons? <laughs> Hello, Tom. And in Saturday night's Team Wild Air Power, Steve Wild and Keith Anderson were out on the trail of pesky rodents again, with their Day State Huntsman and Night Sight and it 200. Nini got through it. Which is all about taking moose meat. <laughs> and mixing it with some oars. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get this bit right. You know what? <laughs> Mate, because I'm remembering the week it's just been. Uh, I'm not going to say that without laughing. <laughs> Trees Global Hunting, brought to you this year, this week. Go for it. On Monday, in Real Trees. What is it? Real Trees Global Hunting. Air wet and you come right back up. So what are you saying? <laughs> I think you're very handsome. Oh. <laughs> oh that's close enough. <laughs> it's as good as you're going to get, my friend. <laughs> uh, I think your vest looks a bit smarter as well. It's got like purple and white in it, so I think you've accessorised much better. And then I walked past Blade Tech Knife Sharp, which reminded me on Friday night's How To episode. I've got to get that in, see? Team Wild Academy. Was it Academy? Yeah, Academy is the show. <laughs> so, so, just kind of talk us through a little bit of the equipment you've got on these dogs here, because they look like they've got Kevlar vests on. <laughs> okay, don't tell me anything to do with them, because we just do. We're, <laughs> And then I walked past Blade Tech Knife Sharpener, which reminded me on Friday night's episode of Team Wild's Ad Cap. <laughs> Thursday night, it's back to the run of the mill, Ian, who's after a sable in Africa. Really elusive one as well. Hides a lot. <laughs> what, do you, what is it? It's. Um... I was looking at you then. Uh, that's, that's fine. Thursday. Um, he just wants to get this done and dusted. But I'm going to be cutting over most of it so I can take out what I need. Come on then. <laughs>